Right, so I have done 16 chain. I'm going to show you how to do this textured stitch, which is my favourite textured stitch. And I think some of you are having a bit of a problem with it. It really is quite an easy stitch, very effective stitch, very pretty, very nice done in rows, very nice for blankets. And it's a shame some of you are having a bit of a problem with this because it really is uh, one of my favourites, very nice stitch to work. And it's a lot easier than you think. I think the problem is it's quite difficult to explain it in writing, so I'm just going to do this little video to show you how it's done and show you just how easy it really is. You need a multiple of 3 plus 1, so I've got 15 plus 1, which is 16, and then into the third chain from the hook. Now I'm going to talk in UK terminology here, and into the third chain from the hook I'm going to do a double crochet and a treble with a chain between them. So one, two, three, a double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're American. One double crochet, one chain. one treble into the third chain from the hook miss two chain one two and the same again one double crochet that's single crochet if you're American one chain one treble, all into the same chain, and one treble, that is a double crochet if you're American, and again, miss two chain, one, two, double crochet, oops, I haven't quite gone in there properly, double crochet, that's single crochet if you're American, one chain, one treble, or if you're American, that's a double crochet. Now this time, if you're in the UK, ignore this. I'm going to speak in the American language when it comes to crochet, just to save some confusion. Miss two single crochet into the next chain make one chain double crochet into the same chain okay that was the american version now for the um, uk version again miss two double crochet one chain one treble, all into the same chain. I must have miscounted my chains at the beginning because I've got one extra there, but never mind, we can just pull that tight, it won't matter. Okay, so we repeated that all, all the way along to the end. You carry on. That's the first row. Now for row two, you make one chain to turn. Turn it round. And every row is the same from now on. You've made one chain to turn. Now this, I think this might be where the confusion is. You need to see where that chain space is. Because you've got to do one double crochet, one chain, one treble, just as you did before on the other row, but you're going to do it into the chain space. There's your first chain space there. Because you did a double crochet, which is there, a chain, and a treble, or if you're American, single crochet, 
chain double crochet. So there's your first chain space. The next space is not a chain space. There's your next chain space. So as you go along, you're working into the space between the double crochet and the treble, or the single crochet and the double crochet if you're American. So on your right, is your, I'll call them long stitch and short stitch, okay? Save the confusion. On your right is the long stitch, on your left is the short stitch. So that's not a chain space because your short stitch is on the right. Into there. That's not a chain space. Into there. Long stitch on the right, short stitch on the left. Into there. Not into there, but into there. Is where you're going to work and do the same. Short stitch, long stitch. Much easier if I describe it that way. <clears throat> so into that first chain space, you're going to do your short stitch, chain, and your long stitch. And again, that's not a chain space. There's your chain space there, with your long one on the right and your short one on the left. Right, UK terminology, double crochet, chain, and then a treble all into that same chain space. American terminology, single crochet, there's your short stitch, there's your double crochet there, or single crochet if you're American, there's your long stitch there, in between the two. United States terminology, you do a single crochet, chain and a double crochet. Chain. Okay, all the way along into the last one now. Double crochet, you back to UK terminology now. One chain, one treble. And then <coughs> you end, <coughs> excuse me, by doing a single crochet into the last chain. So just to bring it together into that chain down there. Just do one single crochet. One chain turn. And carry on doing the same row again and again. So double crochet chain, treble, double crochet, chain, treble. You see where I'm putting the hook each time? between the short stitch there and the long stitch, okay, into there, into there, into there, 
If this isn't clear now, you can see where I've done it into there. If this isn't clear now, I really don't know what else I can do to describe it. You'll just have to kind of give up. I don't like that word, give up, but I really don't know how else to explain this delightful stitch to you. Maybe you're not experienced enough to yet maybe you, once you've had a bit more experience of crocheting you'll be able to decipher all this but it really is quite a pretty stitch don't forget one last double crochet into that turning chain at the end it really is quite a, a pretty little stitch this So that's what it looks like when you've done a few rows. Oops, <laughs> dropped me hook there. The back is exactly the same as the front.